just one of the most ridiculous sounds you'll ever hear. And they just started screaming. Zoe was kind of like, what is going on? Once they get going, they don't stop. <laughs> I just figured that she might do a little better if she had earmuffs on so she could not hear the owls. <laughs> Zoe, she's always been a sweet, quiet girl. <laughs> she picked up behaviors from my cat, Miko. They were best friends since day one. She always loved like sleeping elevated areas, chasing the laser pointer around the house. She's just still a really good girl. Never destroyed anything. Chris had Nico and Jackson when we started dating. So when I went out to visit him for the first time, I brought Zoe with me. When they were inside, Jackson kind of gets territorial over his toys and his bed and everything. So Jackson would kind of like growl at her or have a little stare down. <laughs> she finally just realized it was nothing to be scared of. Nico, he's just more chill. Nico's a very special dog. The first night I ever left him alone, the neighbors called the cops because he was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and I got Jackson to try to mitigate his craziness and keep him busy. That yeah, kind of worked. She's definitely trying to join in with her brothers. One day she'll get it. Their singing is definitely like a party trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you play their own videos to them, they start howling. And... Or when they're really excited, like greeting people at the door. Pretty cool to take them everywhere. We go fishing on the river every day, go biking sometimes, take them on every hiking and camping trip we go on. They're just super, super good.